When I wrote this song, it inside my love for Minnie Ripperton, uh, she asked me, she says, do you have anything that we could say that kind of straddles the fence I said, to go no further, I got an idea. Interestingly enough, when the song was released uh, and headed up the charts, <clears throat> I heard a DJ description of the song and I stopped the car, I pulled it aside and I actually called him something that I won't use in this room. But it was really disappointing that I actually, after I cussed him, then I smiled because it was uh, um, our, our, our 100% feeling that when we finished the song, uh, the sentiment of the song is, uh, won't you come inside me, will you come inside me, will you take a ride inside my love? However, listening to it, most people took it as what it was. Won't you come inside me, will you take a ride? Uh, meaning the ejaculation or the orgasm that we do when we get to have that moment. However, what I meant, it came from me being a little boy in church, hearing the preachers say, won't you come? you come inside the Lord. And I took that with me all my life. And in fact, that particular phrase, as a kid I say to people, was so compelling that when I thought that that was coming up at the end of the sermon, I left the room. <laughs> I didn't want to hear it because it made you want to come. However, the meaning, being a, uh, let's say an entendre, which I do that constantly, I love that, having two meanings in one, or several meanings, uh, letting the individual that listening adapt to that meaning that means something to them, which is a very strong, I think it's one of the strongest things you can do as a writer is to give your listener or the people that are working with you the, the option to take their, their particular view of what you're saying in your message.